Dele Alli, Rashford. So I think these both in the last couple of years they've been you know fantastic for their clubs. No, no, not at all. You know we uh, we're doing it in the right way. Sometimes it comes in uh, Ramadan, you know, in the pre-season. It's it's the most difficult time, to be honest, when it comes in the pre-season. You know, we're playing, sometimes we're playing when we're fast, so it doesn't affect us at all. Yeah, it's um, one of the most uh, proudest moments in, uh, in my career, to be honest. As a country, we've been waiting for uh, 28 years to, to get there. And then uh, to, to be part of the team who, who done it, it's, it's uh, one of the proudest moments for, for me and uh, for all the country, to be honest. To just show the world, you know, how good, you know, our team, because we have, um, we have some, um, some good players there, you know. You see now some impressive players playing in the Premier League, like Mo Salah. Uh, so um, yeah, it's, uh, we look, we're all looking forward there, and uh, we just don't don't want to go there and then you know just play three games and come back. So we have to go there and just you know look to to go as long as we can in the competition. Yeah, he's a great guy, you know. Outside football, you know, it's uh, he's a great personality and. Um, it's one of, uh, of the proudest moments for, for our, um, for our uh, national team and uh, for our country to have a player to in, play in the Premier League like him and um, to score as many goals as he can. It's something called Hamam, Hamam Mahshi. It's, it's very, very nice and um, it's a proper, proper Egyptian food, so if, if anyone has a chance to try it, it's, uh, it's going to be fantastic. Ronaldo, the, the Brazilian Ronaldo was um, the one uh, I always look to, you know, he was um, at this time, back in the day, he was, you know, one of the best players in the world. To, to one, one of the best strikers, you know, in, um, in the world, world history. He was, uh, you know, like a hero for me when I was young. It's massive, you know. Um, to be honest, you know, before I heard about the club, of course, playing against the club, you know, playing in the Villa Park before. Uh, huge, huge club, you know, but when you come into the club and you just live in and you know, the atmosphere around the club, it's fantastic, you know. My sprint, so, you know, the quick, you know what I mean? This is, um, I, use, I use this, you know, as a, a strength in the, in the game. Uh, especially, you know, when you play in, in these positions, you know, you need to be quick. You have to be quick you know, to just, you know, go, go, uh, go through people and um, take people on. So yeah, um, the speed and you know the run, um, I use it as a strength. He's uh, one of the best managers um, I've been with. Hopefully, we can continue, you know, uh, successful this year and. Um, uh, get uh, get our club back to the Premier League. You know, it's it's a main main goal this season for uh, for everyone here. The last one to to sing uh, an English song, but I um, I stick with my uh, Arabic song because you know I have uh, one of the biggest uh, Arabic uh, singer you know in Egypt uh, called Amir Diab. So. I sang one of the first songs, so it was it was good, yeah. So John Terry, the captain, and, you know, he loved about it and put in the social media, and, but it was good, yeah, it was good. I think you know JT, one of them, uh, Glenn Whelan, you know, when you play like Young the Old and Friday or something like that, yeah, they they had to get to get beat. Changed my position when I went to with the with the national team, you know, Egyptian national team. First time, I was playing striker. I scored a lot of goals with the uh, Egyptian national team under uh, 18 and uh, 17. So, uh, I played uh, for the first time against Ever Coast 2007. It was a friendly first game with me with Egypt. 
and I did well to be honest and the manager kept me there and since there I was playing as a right back or a right midfield. My, my nickname came from, um, you know, David, the lad called David Myler. You know, he played with me in Sunderland and Hall as well. So he's the one, you know, called me Elmo for the first time. So it came from, from him, to be honest.